Hey everyone, Reminex here with a little bit of an update. Yeah, there's been some concern because it was highlighted that there may have been a bug featuring Longshot and Shatterstar. So a lot of people were concerned uh, that they might have invested in the team for nothing. So we're here to just show you that basically what was happening was there was a bug that featured assists on certain team combos that were utilizing them. Uh, so really their full function hasn't been changed. Let's go into a couple of quick details. I'm gonna showcase uh, my team really quickly so you get an idea. I brought up X Factor, uh, despite that it's gonna slow my progression into uh, Dark Dimension 4, because I wanted to showcase what they could do at high star. You notice I got a fifth red star on him uh, yesterday. So um, 91K, 85K, G13. Uh, we're going to take them into a war fight, and then we're going to go back through and kind of go through what they probably can beat. So uh, really quickly, I don't know if you guys were here yesterday. We hinted that we were able to potentially beat some Black Order teams, and maybe they could beat some uh, M Marauders. So right now in war, I have some war footage I captured. Uh, we're going to showcase this for you guys right away. So first things first, you're going to notice that I'm going to be selecting a very, very powerful Zemo. Now, Zemo is part of the, the, uh, the power of this team. You're relying on the crit from the Hydra uh, abilities, and he also has the ability to cleanse. Now, this team wasn't boosted. We all know that in a non-boosted team, that will affect the outcome here uh, uh, greatly. So we have to watch kind of what's, what's happening uh, as a result. So pay attention to the video. We'll probably stop and just showcase some of uh, the speed fill and ability fill. So... We'll get right to it. So we use Winter Soldier, and really quickly, there are a couple of, of, of different flexes in this. Absolutely, Red Skull is part of this functional combo. We're gonna talk about why in a few moments, uh, but he is part of the, the four piece if you're using this Hydra combo. I have Winter Soldier here, because he is a seven red star. Uh, I probably am thinking potentially about Grenadier because of the Dispel, and you'll see why it'll probably become obvious to you when you go through. Now, a couple of different options for the move sets, which is why I actually love Longshot and Shatterstar, is both of their button presses, their ults and their specials, will really depend on what your enemy team looks like. Sometimes it may be worthwhile to build up and get Longstar's, uh, lo Longshot, darn it, Longshot's ult, to make sure you one shot a character or it may be worth it just to build up more crits and get more speed stack a couple of bleeds and then move on from there this team has the absolute potential this is a very experimental uh team two pieces of a, of a puzzle that potentially have the ability to become symbiotes 2.0 let's get right into it when we load in you're going to see the normal the normal uh, load here I guess the element of ruin is if you have some bigger units and they do target someone who's a little bit smaller, like let's say your, if your Red Skull was a smaller uh, health, he does have a pretty uh, decent pool. And now that he's farmable, I think uh, he's something that's, that could potentially be worked on here. All right, so we're gonna go right here. Obviously they start, off, they start off here. And the first thing is gonna be, we get the defense down. All right, so that's the mind control. Now, chance of L L L element of, uh, of ruin would be if, if there was some, uh, some problems uh, with, with that there. Obviously, he, had, he did his taunt and the passive removed it. Okay, let's go back into this really quickly. There's a critical hit. One critical hit. So we get some speed fill as a result. Ability block. And we didn't get a lot of crits here, but they're still going to go really quickly here. And there's the ult, and not a lot of crits here at all, but they still have a ton of speed bar. So if just a few crits here, and I use that ability because it's a three tap because it has a chance to crit and spill, spill speed, but you'll see they just keep going. They've taken multiple turns so far. Now, right here, we have the option to go into strife with D down, but because he also has D up, it wasn't worthwhile. So we literally get to take another turn with multiple crits where we get some more speed bar fill and there's multiple crits and they literally take their first turn. Okay. Now, right there is where if we had maybe Grenadier instead of Winter Soldier, we probably could have cleared the, the taunt. 
Uh, but at this point, even with these large red stars uh, and stars on these characters, they're already on the ropes. You can see how, how many bleeds have been stacked. She's ability blocked, so she's not dispelling those. And that's the big difference. So this is mostly a showcase of what they possibly can beat. Remember, that's the big advantage of, of, of Zemo is he's going to be clearing deflects on spawn. There we go. We're going to do the big ability here. So this is going to be his ult going into defense down five, uh, six star, um, five red star without the T4 into the ult with the T4. This would be doing a substantial amount of damage and combined. They just rip right through it. And uh, if you'll notice something, we have taken very little damage overall. Uh, the team is something that again, um, in the future, I think once they get to higher level ISOs, once you build them up um, so that they have a more reliable crit and maybe to flex out some characters. So let's go back into the roster here. Let's basically highlight um, some of what um, of what this could this could be here, and then and then we'll talk about it. Um, so you get an idea of the team comp that you can bring. All right. So right off the bat, long shot and and Shatterstar are both level three ISOs, three brawler and three. Uh, um, uh, blaster, uh, so they aren't competing for uh, priority there. They, I, I, I honestly am debating taking them to, to, to Dark Dimension 4 uh, just to showcase potentially. Probably not my first run, though. I've pretty much locked in my Cosmic units. Stay tuned to see that. That being said, they, with the multiple targets, the more targets they have, the more speed uh, that they're going to get, and so they become devastating. Just more damage than you're going to see out of uh, normal output. All right, so we're going to talk about that Hydra team and basically showcase some of the plug-and-play options you have. Now, I think Zemo, uh, for most people, should be their uh, uh, mainstay. He is just so powerful. Uh, the fact that he can crit uh, as he chains through on his ability and, and build that up is going to be a big a big difference maker. Uh, obviously, he's somebody that I've, I focus pretty hard on uh, because of his full potential. Um, so Winter Soldier is a flex character, and the reason why I call him a flex character is what he's doing is he's really giving, um, uh, really giving uh, the team some additional, uh, you know, crit chance here. So he's basically, because he has, um, because he has a high crit, he's building speed bar. So for himself, he's just doing... Uh, He's allowing the team, including the summons that you, you uh, summon from Red Skull to get additional crit. That's going to help the speed of the team, so it's debatable. Another character that, that we've seen with some success has been, has been Crossbones, uh, and the main reason is because of the fact that Crossbones has the ability to uh, basically potentially crit on multiple targets uh, with his ult uh, with Zemo, uh, and then also has a taunt as an option and offense down. Uh, so he has some useful. The one I think that we really want to talk about is Hydra Grenadier. And Hydra Grenadier uh, also offers the focus, but more importantly, clearing one positive effect would be clearing behind Taunt. That may be the way to make sure that this team gets behind it. So we're going to be, we're going to do some advanced testing. Obviously, over the next couple of weeks, we're going to be working with this team. Um, and as a two-piece combo, they do a ton in the game, but the problem is where can most people use them? But I wanted to showcase this as the, 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 the clear presentation of how they are actually really, really powerful in the game uh, and not highlighting um, something that, that, uh, that has been uh, fixed. Now, remember, you guys may be panicking because you saw that there were uh, other combos with the team where they did assists. That is not a an issue with this team. This is be this is after the hotfix went into effect. They are getting their full uh, speed uh, that they're supposed to be getting. So it is absolutely working uh, the way uh, that it that it should be. So um, yeah, uh, like I said, I, I think I think there's definitely some other options. Uh, some people like uh, the rifle trooper uh, because of. Uh, the, the bonus damage, but I don't think that's important. Uh, I think I think you're just highlighting uh, what they can do. So realistically, it's it's probably a punch across. Uh, but then uh, the 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 dad bros, as they're so uh, lovingly called, really have the potential to 
to enhance a lot of different teams. And there's and this is just one of the teams that we'll be highlighting on the channel in the com upcoming days. There are a lot more versions of it. Remember, I do things so you don't have to. And oh boy, did I set myself back for Dark Dimension 4. Uh, but I, I, I really wanted to showcase um, what happens with the team and how these guys have some appeal, even if they don't fit into your roster right away. So from the perspective of the event, it is a shorter event than usual. We're going to be making a video about the event and the calculations to help get you through that and get the most out of your uh, your Shatterstar. Uh, and then people will, I, I think the long shot blitz is going to be absolutely insane. And again, see you guys soon. Check us out on Twitch. I hope to see you.